Oh, come on. The international break is so boring. Hello comrades, welcome to Mike on Monday. Let's face it, who gives a flying one about England B team playing a friendly against Germany or Brazil or whoever it is they're playing. Uh, anyway, welcome to Mike on Monday. Here we are. Uh, let's see what's been happening at uh, West Ham this week. Well, it's been all go this week, hasn't it, folks? Let's face it, International Week, surely nothing's happened. Loads has happened. Number one, we have a new manager. Enter stage left, David Moyes. So we all knew that Southern was going to see my last video. It was inevitable. Um, David Moyes, apparently the best that was available, according to the club. I mean, that's a great quote, isn't it? The best that was available, i.e. not that good. It's like saying, um, well, I'm going out with Sheila, yeah, even though um, she looks like the back end of a bus because she's single. And uh, Karen, who's gorgeous, isn't. So I'm going to go out with Sheila. That is what you're saying, basically, Board. But having said that, and while his appointment, David Moyes' appointment, was greeted with about as much joy and celebration as the uh, as appointing Adolf Hitler Chancellor of the UK uh, by a lot of Hammers fans, I think people are beginning to come around to the idea a bit more. I mean, there are plus sides to having Moyes. Number one, he's got a Scottish accent, which is easier to do. And second thing, he looks like this. And third, wears a suit. Fourth, he won't keep saying, and all that. Five, really important, this is the training. Now let's be serious for a second, because one of the things that wound me up about Slavin was the fact that in his press conferences, he would say trainings, like this. Like, there might be two of them. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, Antonio has been good in trainings and all that. I'm like, training mate, Train, don't add this. Because it makes it sound like he's only trained twice this year. And having looking at the team, I had a feeling they had only trained twice this year. So, there we go, we've gone David Moyes, and it's, uh, let's hope that, um, that, that we do do well with him. I mean, look, we, we, we've been playing god-awful football for a season and a bit. Maybe we can play um, god-awful football well, if you know what I mean. Maybe we're going to play defensive, you know, stodgy uh, defensive-based football, then can we do defensive-based football, but well-organised defensive-based, you know, and fit. Um, the club's been on a PR campaign all week showing that the, footage of the players training and like they've never trained before I mean like uh, so come on let's give them another chance let's see what happens uh, this week uh, because far worse things have happened this week for example Dame Karen Brady of Bullshitville has opened a huge gob again in a move that's about as welcome as a new Kevin Spacey movie I mean she's owned a gob and said that uh, over the last year since Sam Billish was appointed what's happened is we've spent like a hundred million which is more than any other club outside the top six which of course wonderful uh, numerous other blogs that have pointed out is a lie there's loads of clubs spend more than us. We haven't spent 100 million to start with. I think it's about 86 million in total. And uh, loads and loads of other clubs, Leicester, Everton, and a heap of other people, Bournemouth, have actually spent more money than we have. So, well done, Karen Brady. Look, if you're going to tell fibs, don't tell fibs to West Ham fans, because we kind of know what we're talking about. We're reasonably educated about our own club. <coughs> the next thing that's happened, been covered on uh, the Cup of Tea last night with Gonzo and Gio, is this idea that we haven't got any money. We have got loads of money. We have woefully underspent. They are going to be lying to you now and saying, oh no, look, in the account here, uh, you clearly, we've had to spend uh, 200 million on the training facilities and uh, where we purchased a uh, sandwich for 150 million from a certain Mr. D Gold. So that's where all our money has gone into D Gold and D Sullivan's bank account. That's what you'll find. Yeah, so look into it. If one goes, oh God, have already got to look into accounts? Yes, because it will be an utter, utter con. Uh, other things that have happened this week are um, the team have been training, we've done lots of other bits and pieces, and nothing else has happened this week. There's been no actual football apart from stodgy, dull international football. So instead, 
Let's have a look at some positive stuff. And other people have said, oh, you man, do you man, do you man, do you man, do you man, taking things off? That's because it's funnier. Um, so I'm going to look at five reasons to be cheerful over the forthcoming, uh, let's say up to Christmas. Five things to look forward to up to Christmas and five reasons to be cheerful as a West Ham fan. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Five, five reasons to be cheerful this season. Number five, uh, Manuel Lanzini. What a great player he is. He, the reason to be cheerful, Manuel Lanzini is one. He plays for Spurs. Two, and more importantly, of course, is the fact that he's run out of room for more tattoos. Because this guy, Manuel Lanzini, is a great player, but he's very small. And if he carries on having more tattoos, he will be more ink than footballer. The guy, in, in, it's ridiculous. Now, here's a picture of uh, Manuel Lanzini when he first turned up playing for us. Just a couple of tattoos. This is him the season after. That's uh, a lot of tattoos. And this is him this season. Not a great picture. I can't really find one. We're showing all the tattoos, but he's clearly working down now. The right arm and nearly filled that. So, come on, Manuel. For goodness sake. That's enough tattoos, mate. Otherwise, you're going to have to start on your face, and that would be ridiculous. Mind you, I'm such a big fan of Manuel Lanzini. I'm seriously considering getting a tattoo of Manuel Lanzini's face on my face. That's how big a fan I am of his. Right, anyway, moving up to number four. Number four, one of the reasons to be cheerful is Chet Kiyote's arm might finally heal. He's had that arm bandage on his arm, for, on his wrist, for like forever, since since he played uh, earlier in the year for his country. And it's like, uh, come on, check, surely it's really nice. This is reaching almost Jamie Vardy proportions of having a cast on your arm forever. Uh, number three, we got Joe Hart. Now, Joe Hart, everyone was like, do we really need Joe Hart? Adrian's pretty good. But Joe Hart, I think, has turned out to be a class signing, even if he is on low. Of course, that's a downside because uh, Adrian wants out because he's not playing enough football. And if we've only got Joe Hart on loan at the end of the season, we will have no goalkeeper. So, uh, and apparently, we haven't got any money to buy one. So, there you go. Um, maybe I'll get the call. Uh, anyway, so Joe Hart is, uh, he's, I think he's really good. He's the main reason that we got a point at Palace. He pulled off a load of great saves away at Palace. <laughs> this is a game, of course, we were 2-0 up in, and we held on for a draw. We couldn't even win it. Uh, but never mind, but Joe Hart is still, uh, I think, he's starting to look like a really good goalkeeper and a really good signing for us. He's obviously growing in confidence, getting used to the team and that sort of stuff. Uh, at number two, really important one this, the number two reason to be cheerful, I have found a kiosk right near my uh, block where I sit at the London Stadium that sells a veggie burger, and not just a veggie burger, no, 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 but red wine as well. So I, at half time, can have a veggie burger and red wine. Mwah, love you, Mwah, love you London Stadium. I mean, I hate popcorn, but fuck it, I've got uh, a, a veggie burger and red wine store to go to. Yay! Reason number one, we're in the quarter-final of the Haribo Cup. Now, I know who we're at Arsenal, we're probably as far as it's going to go, but it's still, it is the quarter-final. It's not the semi-final or the final. Well, no, that's dreaming land. We are West Ham. But the quarter-final, it's brilliant. It's way better than the fourth round or the fifth round or the second round or the third round, which is normally whereabouts we go out. The quarter-final, people, we seem to be proud of. We reached the quarter-final of the Haribo Cup. Yay! Good. Five reasons to be cheerful. Now, loads of people have commented, twittered me and whatever with questions. I've picked out a couple to answer this week. So let's move along with this week's Questions of the Week. Let's go. So here we go. Some questions. Number one from Christian. Uh, now he's, he got a hold of me. Uh, he left a comment down below. And uh, he said to me, oh, I've seen you on the boat occasionally. And I've seen a number of other videos on the Hammers chat. And there's one thing I've got to ask is... How tall are you? And uh, I am very tall. If you haven't seen me, I'm six foot five and a bit, um, like that much below two meters tall. I am very tall, uh, and uh, that, you can't really miss me anywhere. But once I look like this, and uh, and two because I'm very very tall. Uh, now the downsides to being very tall, apart from sleeve length, uh, and that's what old ladies tend to say to you. Know, I get accosted by people all the time going, eh, well, hello dear, what's the weather like out there? Like. 
the weather like it is for me is exactly uh, but the same as it is for you. I am not that tall. I'm not like 300 miles tall. It is the same. What a stupid question. Am I going to feel like rain or snow that much further before you are? But I'll have time to report. Do you know what? For you, love, it'll be raining in about four minutes' time. I'm not. It's, it's still ridiculous. And the next thing I love saying is, oh, I bet you're good at changing light bulbs. No, I'm not. I'm terrible at changing light bulbs. You know what I'm doing? Why one? I'm. I have to stand on a chair anyway. I'm not that tall. Unless it's a really low seeing house. In that case, I wouldn't want to be in it anyway, would I? Who wants to walk around up like this all the time? Uh, but two, I have to stand on the chair. Let everyone else change the light bulb. And this is the irony. I'm terrified of heights. I hate heights, especially ladders, standing on chairs, things like that. Um, oh no! Every day's a struggle when you're six foot five and you don't like heights. But um, there you go. I, I am crap at changing light bulb. I'm crap at anything remotely changing a bulb, uh, changing a plug, anything. Uh, I'm just terrible at it. And here's the thing. I recently saw uh, in one of those men's magazines. There was this ridiculous article, and it said like, make your orgasm as easy as changing a light bulb. I was like, really? For me, that's really, really hard thing to do. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, what would you, here's what, if, if that was to apply to me, here's what would happen. I'd um, leave it for a couple of months, pretend there is nothing wrong there, and then finally get a friend of mine to do it for me. I think that's not really what they're <laughs> aiming at, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, I'm six foot five, Please don't come up and ask me to change the light bulb for you. And the weather's the same where I am. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, question two, and this comes from um, a guy called James Thinker. What a name. James Thinker. Loving your name, James. I hope you're thinking. And he says, he asked me quite simply, do I think West Ham will go down this season? Um, it's a weird one. Because, no, I don't, number one, I, I, I don't. But we've gone down with great, with, with a good team before. I've watched this go down and come up more times than the Hawes Knickers. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. I'm like, uh, I'm on an age where I, I've watched this go down, go up, go down, go up, go down. And that doesn't really bother me anymore. I, I'm, I'm just a West Ham supporter. And this is one of the things that really annoyed me about when, when we appointed Moyes and the amount of people on social media going, right, that's it, I've had enough. In it, my geezer, East London, right? Uh, I've had enough. Not like you veggie bit, burger eating people. No, I'm a proper geezer, mate. And I've had enough of this. I've had enough of the club's bullshit. I said, I'm not going there. I'm not going to go. I'm not going. All right, I'm not going to sell my season ticket. I said, I'm not going anymore because I'm a supporter. Well, really? Because if you're a supporter, go and watch the team. Get behind the manager, go support the team, and yeah, we can all win your moan for losing 3 0 at home to Brighton, and we've got every right to because it is annoying. But hey, do you know what? We've turned up and we've watched them lose 3 0 at home to Brighton because we support West Ham, and that's what it's about. That's really what we do. Uh, we're not going to change teams, and suddenly he's got my, what my daughter said to me the other day. She's like, oh, uh, her best friend, uh, Joseph, at school, she's six, yeah, she's then, he supports Arsenal. Can I support Arsenal? I was like, you can, yeah, go ahead, support Arsenal. It's not a fascist dictatorship, it's your choice. You want to support Arsenal, then you go and do that. But remember, I've got loads of pictures and videos of you going to West Ham games in a West Ham shirt, and they will come out if you reckon you support Arsenal. And they'll be shown to everyone as quickly as I can if you reckon you're supporting Arsenal. And also, Daddy's not going to take you to see Arsenal, is he? So she supports West Ham still. Got to be done. But anyway, going back to the question. Now, do I think we could go down? Uh, of course we could go anything. I don't know. Manchester City could go down if they don't have enough points to start. Mind you, they probably already have. But, you know, uh, any team could go down. And we could well go down. We're not uh, relegation proof. If you'd looked at Palace's team before the start of the season, we wouldn't have put tipped them for it. I actually did tip them for relegation because I am Boston. But, uh, yeah, they were on my tip for relegation. But, you know what? On paper, they shouldn't be. Uh, but Huddersfield should be, and they probably won't go down. I also didn't tip them to go down. But uh, you, will we go down? I, I doubt it. I actually think Moyes will keep us up now. We, we have got a bit too much strength in the team. Uh, but you know what? We're Watford away this week. I'm <laughs> watching that game with Watford supporters. Oh, the joy! And I could have gone for the away end. Oh, God. And uh, and um, the following week, we are at home to... Who are we playing, is it? Is it... Uh, I forgot. Leicester. Leicester City on the Friday night. I should be at the game, obviously, on the boats beforehand. Do come and say hello. And you know what? After that those two games, we're going to get a little bit of an idea of what's going to happen under Moyes. I'm not saying he has to change it instantly, but 
if we lose both games 3-0 without putting any kind of up a fight that we did like we did against Brighton, that's a, that's a game that haunts me in case you haven't worked it out. Then you know, we know that we're doomed. <laughs> we're not doomed, but it probably means we're, we're going to struggle. And in a way, I'd like us to struggle because we did a sweepstake of, uh, of on the boats for elite positions and I got 17th, one above relegation. And that's quite worth quite a lot of money. So, yeah, go on, just struggle. It doesn't quite go down. We'd love that. But yeah, I, I'm joking. The sport in the team is worth more than money so um yeah there you go that's it for this week then folks now uh I'll, if you're at the games come and say hi if you see me uh, it's uh, highly unlikely waffle because i'm uh watch it with waffle fans anyway but um uh, but certainly do say hello at the uh, less game etc etc now uh i, I then have another show this week there is another uh show that i've done and it, it, this is this is the uh, hamshack forum or soon to be the west ham show channel uh, and uh, there is obviously the hammers chat main channel uh, if you're not watching if you're not uh, subscribed to both you need to subscribe to both to get the content from both okay so don't just think you've drawn one you get the other anyway i have done a show review of the season so far and it's pretty Pretty wicked, and that is on the main Hammers Chat forum. And uh, there's this one, Michael Monday, which I always do here. And I might pop up with some other stuff this week because I've got a few things I want to say. Yay! And uh, and that's it for this week. Other than to say, do if you like the show, do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, please send naked photos of yourself or your female. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not Kevin Spacey, but I mean, you know. Uh, and uh, and but do subscribe. You know, especially to both channels of Hammers Chat. are both fab. And make sure that you uh, you keep supporting West Ham. Do do write any comments you want to argue ask me any questions do put them in the comments below and um i'll see you at the next show uh, until then come on you irons mm -hmm.